let me teach you some practices that, well, let me, let me see. I'm, what are we doing? OK, the circle of three. So let me, let me before I get into the, uh, the very specific deconstructive practices, we're going to talk about what is called the circle of three. There's this Tibetan prayer that says, uh, awakened ones of the past realized things as they are in the circle of three. OK, so subject, th that perceiving subject perceives object. Liking and disliking arise, or neutral. They come into contact, and there's an interaction. This is what we want to watch in ourselves. We want to watch the relationships between the conditioned relationships between the sense of an I that's not actually a solid thing, but that sense of an I is there, and then the patterned interactions that are conditioned, that are going to show up when, they come in, when, when the sense of an I comes into contact with the triggering object. This is what deconstructive practice is all about. It's all about watching the relationships, the dynamics between what's happening in your life, monitoring and modifying. So now you understand this Venn diagram. This is the sort of the skillfully aware Venn diagram and what we're trying to see. We're trying to see the relationship between the world, this, this circle here, the world, and what comes in. People, places, things, all from the outside. And then the mind, that blue circle, thoughts in the mind, mental states, habits of just making dukkha, all conditioned, just flowing consistently through within the pattern of this mind-body network. And then the body's there too. It's also conditioned to feel and to react. And, and what we're doing in meditation is we're looking at all of the interdependencies, the flow of all those interactions. Because when you can begin to do that, you can begin to change yourself. That's really skillful meditation. All right, so now on to the noting practice. So we're going to, this week, in our practices, we're going to go really deep, OK? We're going to deconstruct, and we're going we're gonna to engage in some finer techniques, some finer points. The first one is called noting. And what noting is, is, is noticing something and then focusing on it intently. But it's, it's, not, it's not getting mentally dull. Have you noticed that when you try to follow the breath, that you can place your attention on your breath, but then very shortly thereafter, it stops being interesting. You stop noticing the change. The mind starts to wander, right? What noting is all about, noting is, is keeping up moment to moment with what's happening. So for example, if a thought arises in the mind as you're watching the breath, you could note talk, right? You could also note that if there's, you're following the breath, it's good to note that if there, there are no thoughts in your mind. It's, it's, it's good to take note, like what's happening now? That's why I get you guys to ask that question, what's happening now? In a sense, asking that question is noting. You're just noting what's going on. You, you're cluing yourself in right then and there. So what I want you to note is I want you to note what's arising, what is coming up, what's, what's there, the thoughts, the sensations. What is this? But I also want you to note What's not there? Because if you get to a place where you're on your meditation cushion and there is no thinking, I don't want you to 
like bliss out and, and fall asleep. <laughs> the lack of something in there, and then you can't hook onto it, but, but if you note, ah, empty, ah, silence, ah, peace, you're still keeping up. Do you see? So there and that not there is a very important sort of qualitative distinction. This is here. This is not here. You're noting the activity or the emptiness. In your manuals, in your study guides, you're going to see a, a, a list of what are going to called labels. That's what we're going to talk about next. Labels, so you can use a mental word. So when talk arises, talk is the label. Talk shows up in your head. You're meditating on the breath. Talk shows up in your head. You label it talk. And then you go back to the breath. If image shows up, you say image. If, if an itch carries you away from the breath, touch sensation. If a feeling, feel. You have words now. But if mind empty, no talk or image, it's empty. You say empty. Okay, so I'm, that's, that's all in your study guide. You'll see that.